Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA? For telling my mom and baby brother that they ruined my summer? I'm a 16-year-old who graduated high school in June. Yes, I graduated early. My mom is currently eight months pregnant, and she had my half-brother, Ben, in October 2021, so he's almost two. My 14-year-old brother, Sam, spent the summer with our dad, who lives eight hours away, and just got back two days ago. Since my stepfather works during the day, it's mostly just me, my mom, and Ben at home. I take care of Ben in the mornings for about two hours, I feed him breakfast, change his diaper, and play with him. I also make my mom coffee and breakfast while she sleeps in. She usually wakes up around 9, 30, eats breakfast, and then I take the dog for a walk. When I get back, I put Ben down for his nap, and during that time, my mom plays on her PC. When Ben wakes up, I make his lunch and my mom feeds him. Then, I have to take him outside for a walk and water the plants. I'm also the one fetching whatever my mom needs since she can't go up and down the stairs easily. On top of all this, I've been taking two online classes and caring for a sick dog. With Sam gone, most of the household chores fell on me, and it's been a lot to handle. Despite everything, I never complain. But lately, my mom has been really mean, maybe because of the pregnancy. It only takes her about five minutes after seeing me to start complaining about something I didn't do right. She constantly calls me lazy and compares me to other kids my age who have driver's licenses or jobs, things I want too, but I just don't have the time for because of all my responsibilities at home. This summer, I wanted to go to see my brother and dad just for a week because I miss them. My mom said no, because I had to take care of my dog. Fair, I guess. I used to go downtown to the library, and she said I can't go anymore because I didn't do insert chore, or she needs someone to help with Ben. Right. I wanted to take myself to the movies. No. I want to go to the fair with my brother Sam. No. Yesterday was college orientation. Not only did she text me while I was there complaining about me not telling her we ran out of dishwasher pots, but when I got home, she ranted at me for 20 minutes about how I always ditch my responsibilities. School starts tomorrow and I'm so exhausted and sad. I wanted this to be a fun summer. After yelling at me and then telling me to go buy dishwasher pods last night, my mom made me tell her what was making me so upset. I told her I wasn't ready to share it, but she threatened to take away my computer, which I paid for and also need for college, so I did. I told her I was tired of doing everything for her, that I felt unappreciated, and that she and Ben ruined my summer. She said she was more than capable of taking care of Ben on her own and sent me to bed. It's the next day and she won't talk to me. She also won't let me help with Ben. I am a little relieved because it's been a long time since I've had time to myself, but I also feel sort of bad. AITA? Update. Basically, I'm a 16-year-old high school graduate and my pregnant mother is putting a lot of household responsibilities, including taking care of my 22-month-old brother on me. After reading your comments, I've realized a lot. I always knew my mom was a little verbally abusive, but you guys helped me see how bad it actually is. I am not supposed to have these many responsibilities at my age and my mom is trying to make me feel otherwise by manipulating me. Her mother is a narcissist worse than my own mom, if you can imagine, and extremely manipulative. Her father has AD and BPD, so I know for a fact she has inherited some of this behavior from them. Per your suggestions, I have decided to look into emancipation. In the meantime, I will get my things in order to be able to back myself up. I am looking for a job through my college and I am going to study to get my permit. If I am able to get my permit this month, I can have my license by February. I agree that I do need to get out of the house ASAP, but it will most likely be after the new baby is born, unfortunately. I'm also deciding where I should live. I'm leaning toward my grandfather because he lives on the other side of the country, and he is at least extremely supportive of me and won't expect me to be his slave. A lot of you wanted me to move in with my father, but I'm sorry to say he's not the savior you guys want him to be. He and my mother divorced when I was five, but we've never all been a family. I would see him maybe a few times a month, and now we speak once a month if that. He is by no means my dad, just a friend I check in with monthly who happened to get my mom pregnant. Here's what's happened since I posted. My mom kicked me out of my bathroom and is now making me share with my brother because apparently, I am not able to keep it clean. Mind you, everyone uses this bathroom, and she constantly tells me that it's not just my bathroom, but of course I am the only one responsible for cleaning it. 
She has found a way to control my devices through some app that uses Wi-Fi to control them. I've gotten three 15-minute rants about how irresponsible I am. I will no longer fight her and just stick to my plan of getting out ASAP. I've switched all my college classes to online as well so I can get up and leave when the time comes. I am done. Thank you guys so much for the support. Hopefully when you hear from me again I'll be out of this house. I want to be a lawyer, I know I can do it. Who knew I could get so much support from Reddit? Update 2 So I have some good news I guess. I am free to go. My mom got pissed at me today because I was taking care of my dog and my baby brother at the same time and I forgot to fully clean up after my dog. I've been really stressed lately and I guess it just slipped my mind to go back to clean up because I was with my baby brother and then I took him to his bed to sleep and I went to my computer to start schoolwork. Anyway, I was unloading the dishwasher about an hour later and she saw that my dog's toys were where I left them and got really mad at me. So, I cleaned up and found her in my room. She then complained about how there was a cup in my room, nothing but water is allowed in bedrooms, I had water in the cup, and also that my baby brother's food pouch was under my bed. I didn't know his pouch was there, but he often goes into my room while I'm not in there so that must be why it was in there. She kicks me out of my room and tells me that I can only keep what can fit in a luggage and everything else of mine, she will give away. So now, I don't have a room, I sleep in the living room on an air mattress. I tried to call my grandmother to ask if I could stay with her for a while but she didn't answer. About ten minutes later, she asked me what was wrong with me, and I let it all out. Not like last time though. I told her and she specifically is the reason for all of my stress and that she makes me feel bad about myself. She actually apologized and gave me a hug and said it was because she's pregnant. She asked why I called my grandmother, they're not on good terms right now, and I told her that I wanted to move out and take my dog with me of course. She was fine with it. Like, a little too fine. She didn't even ask why I wanted to go, she didn't even say she needs to talk it over with my stepfather, she just said I can go. I'm very happy but a little conflicted. I know I need to go, but I keep thinking about my brothers. How much she'll struggle with two babies by herself. She actually seemed like she felt bad when I told her how the way she was acting made me feel. I will go, I know it's right choice regardless of my doubts. I'm going to my grandmother's now because she lives in the same city as my dad, eight hours away, a big city and it's easier. Meanwhile, I'll get a job and talk to my grandfather about me moving in with him. I think he will be open to it. He always wants me to visit and he's extremely supportive. I know it's not the biggest update, but I feel like getting her permission to go was the part I was most afraid of and I have it so. I wanted to share. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.